All right, well, I've uh, reached the highest altitude for the morning, and now I'm coming down a little bit, and it looks like I'm entering the meadow area that I didn't know existed until yesterday when uh, one of the guys told me, hey, you're really gonna love the meadow area. So let's take a look. Oh, look at this for a campsite. Wow. Are we are at 10,300 feet, 400 feet, something like that. Oh, the clouds coming, excellent. Wow, look at that. What a view. Everything we're looking at is 10,000 or more. catch you at the next water. Hey, we are out of the wilderness area um, and kind of down at the bottom of the meadow where I wanted to turn on. I think we turn in to see the very bottom, I, I hope, but if we don't then I just wanted to get some of this in. This mountain across the way we got tree line going already. So that's where the tree line is. 11.5? pretty high In most places the tree lines here at 10 but we have no rattlers that's for sure uh, the bear population goes down same with the mountain lion because there's just not as much food as in lower altitudes so that's good news and boy, speaking of altitudes, I'm definitely feeling it. I am so happy I took my time. So far today, it took me four hours to go six miles, which is a mile and a half an hour. That is pretty slow. I set some bird off. He did not like me talking. Oh, look at that. Oh boy. All right, there's our next water source. That could be the trail all the way down there cutting through. I'm almost at uh, the next water source. So the river we see there is probably comes out of the woods up here. with my left hand because my right hand is tired. Boy, look at this view coming up here. I'm going to rotate the camera. The sun's in front now. I got my tracker on. I figured out a little bit on how to work this thing, but uh, you know, it helps to be still or to hold it, you know, put it down and walk away. Whew. Well, this was a change. So I knew we were coming up to something that was gonna be open and I hope the tracker sends out, see how it goes. I would be remiss if I didn't try it. Wow, look how beautiful this is. I don't know what these bushes are, but there are a lot of them. I like the yellow. Okay, I guess we're gonna go down to the water.
good dramatic sky today. I'm so glad I'm not pushing myself. These miles just come in handy. I've really been taking the time as I filmed with some of them, just relax and let the smells and the sounds surround me. It's been a very peaceful walk. And that's what you can do when you're solo. Just take it at your pace. Wow. I mean, this looks like a natural meadow. There's no downed wood anywhere. This is not a burnout. This is just a natural meadow. Oh, and there's a truck up here. So we know we're reaching civilization somehow. <laughs> They're reaching us. All right, I'm gonna turn this off now that we've come around the bend and we can see where we're going. I suspect my campsite then is up, it's 500 feet, so it's got to be up that hill there, or this one here. Okay, see you tomorrow. So I just had lunch, and uh, you can look in the sky and see that there is rain threatening. Uh, but this is a beautiful meadow. And uh, I just ran into <laughs> ran into another hiker, a uh, hiker named Jumper. So shout out to Jumper. He did the PCT in 19. And uh, Baxter and his name, uh, they went early in the season. There's still some snow. And uh, they went a little off trail thinking that they could get through. And I guess they came to a... a small crack in the snow and he wasn't going to be able to jump it with his pack on so he threw his pack and with the idea that the pack would sit up on the ledge and he would then jump after it and continue the hike but uh i guess his pack slid down a slope for a very long time he said like a mile and without hesitating he just jumped after it <laughs> so we got the name Jumper. Good backstory. Uh, so I asked him about his food, and uh, he said that he doesn't bring a stove. He cold hydrates everything. Makes it a little tough for the coffee in the morning. But uh, you know, it's the same mashed potatoes and couscous and soups and things like that. They're just cold. Uh, he does do some of the shelf-stable chicken and tuna, things like that, so, you know, there's so many options these days. Nobody's really buying the pre-dehydrated pre meals, those, I really don't like those. I think that's the problem with most people have. So I wanted to check back, I gave him a hike 360 sticker but he's at the beginning of a four week CT hike so oh, chances that he ends the hike with it are slim but it'd be fun if he does show up in four weeks and uh, you know I noticed I can tell you know people who are familiar with long distance hiking. Number one, of course, their packs are really small. Uh, but also, they tend to be wearing just basic dime store thrift hiking shirts. And, uh, you know, front pockets or sleeves and patterns, almost Hawaiian. And I guess, I guess that's a thing I haven't done yet. It's nice to see, though. All right, I am going to keep trying to be ahead of these clouds. Whew, that's a dark cloud in front of me. 
All right, talk to you later.